dear students and my dear friends today we are here to attend a mathematics class for standard 2 the name of our topic is our currency notes so all of you please take out your active mathematics book and turn to page number 100 25 Ready everyone so now we begin our currency notes what does this mean this means money we all need money whenever we go out for shopping we all need money because we pay the shopkeeper with money and the shopkeeper gives us things now what is money money is called rupee in india rupees at paise sign of rupee is this and sign of paise is p in india we have one rupee coin two rupee coin five rupee coin and 10 rupee coin we have 1 rupee note 2 rupee note 5 rupee note 10 rupee note 20 rupee note 50 rupee note 100 rupee note 200 rupee note 500 rupee note and 2000 rupee note okay now we begin some exercises if we go to a shop and buy a toy for rupees 60 and a greeting card for rupees 10 and you pay the shopkeeper rupees 100 how much money are you going to get back rupees 60 plus rupees 10 is equals to rupees 70 and you have paid the shopkeeper 100 rupee note so the shopkeeper will return you 30 rupees so one 20 rupee note and one 10 rupee note if you buy things costing rupees 40 from a shop and pay the shopkeeper rupees 100 how much money will the shopkeeper return you 100 minus 40 is equals to 60 the shopkeeper will either return you 320 rupee notes or 150 rupee note and 110 rupee note now we come to the word problems how much money will you have to pay for buying 10 stamps for rupees 38 what does this mean this means one stamp costs 3 rupees and you are going to buy 10 stamps okay so how much money will you have to pay so number of stamps how will are we going to solve number of stamps is equals to 10 now what is the cost of one stamp cost of one stamp multiplied by 3 So ten stamps at three rupees. So thirty rupees. I'm going to buy ten stamps for. 
30 rupees. So therefore, statement, therefore, I have to pay thirty rupees for buying ten stamps. Okay, so you just write I have to pay thirty. Rupees. I spent 293 rupees on buying a shirt and 150 rupees on buying sweets. How much money did I spend in all? So, what are we going to do? We are going to add. Because here they are asking. How much money did I spend in all? This is, that means how much money did I spend all together? So, what is the cost of the shirt? Cost of the shirt is 293 rupees. Cost of shirt is 293 rupees. Rupees. Cost of sweets. Plus one hundred and fifty rupees. Now when you write statements, put the sign of addition and write rupees. So 3 plus 0, 3. 9 plus 5, 14. Carry over 1. 2 plus 1, 3 and 1, 4. So how much money did I spend in all? Write statement therefore. I spend four hundred and forty three rupees in all. I hope the lesson is clear. Please visit the school website. Download the worksheet related to this lesson.